Okay, back for the first time since I wrap up this Secret Invasion show months ago. So today I'm going to review this Series 2 premiere episode of Loki. Series 2, Episode 1. The title of this episode is called Ouroboros. That's the name of the title. Please my apologies because I can't really pronounce the title of the first episode of the second season of Loki. Man, after I watched Secret Invasion months ago, yeah, that was a bad show. And that, and then fast forward months later, I'm watching Loki. Like the first series of the show, can't wait for the second series now. Um, this episode aired last week on Disney+. Plus. I'm going to review the first episode of the second series of the show before episode 2 arrives tomorrow. I think it was on midnight, but um, anyway, so... Uh, by the way, um, yeah, I will do some non Treehouse episode reviews for the month of October because for the last, what, two weeks, I think, I've been reviewing uh, Simpsons Treehouse Horror episodes non-stop. Now, I'm reviewing Loki. Um, I was about to do some wrestling uh, pay-per-view reviews. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think the upcoming uh, classic wrestling pay-per-view I'm going to review on this channel. I'm going to review um, Halloween Havoc 98. That's known for that horrifying um, you know, Hogan Warrior WrestleMania 6 rematch. And also, you got a really good match between Goldberg and DDP. That will be somewhere about in two weeks' time, I think. You know, a week before Halloween. But, um, yeah. Don't think it's going to be any classic WWE pay-per-view reviews for the month of October. I mean, it's, a, it's too much content because I'm reviewing Loki, reviewing Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. It's just, you know, too much, man. Anyway, let's talk about the second series, episode one of Loki. So, yeah. Ouroboros is the name of the second, uh, the first episode of the second series. So yeah, um, it continued what they picked up from series one. Like before that, um, Mobius and you know Mobius didn't recognize Loki, but instead it's a good plot twist, you know. And I seen the trailer for the se second series of Loki. This is months ago. I think they released it after they wrapped up Secret Invasion. You know, um, I kind of like it. You know, Lo Loki in this episode, he is like time slipping. You know, like you know, in the in one scene, like he's ch got chased by the the um, the minutes man or the minutes person and Mobius. You know, Loki says to Mobius, you know, Mobius, it's me, and Mobius says, I don't know you, and then he jumped onto a, I think it was a future time traveling version of a delivery truck you know and then crash into another part of the building and that that time traveling truck kind of fall <laughs> yeah I can like Loki's reaction says she'll be fine and you know Casey didn't remember and then sort of all of a sudden like Loki's just kind of disappeared he's time slipping I think since and also he's he saw like imagery of Kang, the Kang statue, Kang like golden like statues in the um the the beat the boarding meeting room or the meeting room. Like I could sense that Kang would be um appeared later on in the series. I think they're gonna overexpose Kang because yeah, series the end of series one, it was the day the introduction of Kang, Nathaniel Phillips. And then he put in the the third Ant Man film. Um, I, I think he's going to be overexposed, you know, like because they're going to do uh, Avengers Kang's Dest Destiny. That'll be somewhere about what 2025, 2026. It's later on in this decade, but he's going to get exposed, you know. With Thanos, you know, they already saved him for cameo appearances or even like post credit scenes. Otherwise. The Avengers film in 2018 would be not be more important because that revolve around Thanos. But anyway, so yeah, you could tell like he traveled back to his own normal timeline 
So I think with Sylvie, we'll get to more of Syl Sylvie later on. With Sylvie stab Nathaniel, aka Kang, it's very funny like there's Kang, there's Kang the Conqueror, or Kang the Alien from The Simpsons. When uh, Sylvie kills Kang, um, I think, or I think it's kind of like, I think it's, well maybe it has to do with the time traveling effect, and the branch fit, and there's something about the time traveling branch could affect Loki, you know, one moment, one moment, one moment like he's time slipping, his head is leaning like this, and he's like doing the crack neck thing, you know, but, um, yeah, um, I think it's fetting Loki, you know, maybe it has to do with the time traveling he's appearing, you know, it's taking his time toll on his body, is it fetting Loki, is it fetting Loki, is it going to affect Sylvie, we don't know, I think, I'm glad, I'm glad they're going in that direction, I'm glad they, you know, like, um, I thought, like for me, or you know, you know, Loki trying to do anything to get uh, Mobius Mobi to remember him. Unfortunately, you know, I think that was the time. It was that he traveled back into the past, you know, before Mobius um, and Loki ever met, you know. So anyway, so yeah, I think I don't want to go. I don't want to get any more details of it. Like, we've got plenty of episodes, we've got six episodes, it ends on the 9th of November, so we've got a whole of October, so far we're in, almost, yeah, we've we got, the whole of October, got, we got, yeah, <laughs> we've got about, what, five more episodes in October, and one in November. Um, anyway, but, um, I want to see what, how it's going to vet him, you know, I like the poster, like, uh, of it, you know, he's, like, it's, his abilities, like he's struggling, you know, he's trying to, he's traveling back and forth into time to the future, past, present, not like from the different timeline, but I don't, you know, I think it's a good piece of, of storytelling. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, um, so, you know, you know, we're not gonna see Renslayer, you know, I think like when he was in that Kang timeline. Um, he played like a tape recorder of you could hear it's Renslayer, but I can see Renslayer could be appear later on in the series. You know something about the invasion war, not really pay attention of it, and you got the mysterious opponent uh, voice on that tape recorder, um, voice uh, on that voice tape. Knowing is it Kang? Is it someone else? You know, my gut feeling Kang could be there for a bit, but I think it could be a new villain. You know, um, I'm glad we're not gonna. If it's a new villain, I'm glad they never like see what the new villain's gonna look like. You know, sometimes with trailers, you know, they just gave away too much of the plot. So, anyway, but um, yeah. So, you know, you know, he's able to go back to that normal timeline and explain about Kang. You know, it's yeah, it's for for Mobius reactions. You can tell he's a bit like shell shark, you know. It's it's still sinking in him, sinking in what's going on, you know. Um. Anyway, so we have got um, yeah, we got really a new character called O B called Ouroboros, you know. It's funny, funny when Loki time slip, uh, time slip, he translip to the past, you know. You know. You know, and talk about <laughs> talk about. It's really funny. He's got one step ahead. You can tell Loki's kind of like rewritten his own history. You know, changed the timeline. You know, talking about you know talking about like you did. Uh, I think they need like a a time was it temple oro extractor. You know, yes. Yeah, so, you know, you got to, yeah. You got, uh, Obi says you know oh, I don't want <laughs> I don't have it. And all of a sudden Loki's making it in the past. You know. One step ahead, you know. I think they have to go to the temple loom. Like otherwise, you know, they'll be lo lost forever. Like anyway, so I don't want to get any more in details of it, but um, yeah, my ex my first impression of Obi. I don't know who who's the actor playing him. He done a good job, you know. I want to see more of him. I think he's a smart guy, and also they kind of stereo 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 stereotype type him. Sterile, they kind of stereotype the character because oh he's Asian and his glasses. I think Asian guys are like like smart, you know. But um, anyway, so um, yeah, um, 
I think past Obi says, you know, you ever been to the black hole? In the black hole, you're gonna be in sk spaghetti. No, good. Yeah, there's some funny lines. You can tell the comedy wasn't in this series. Um, in this um episode, my apologies. In this series, in this episode, they're not leaning in as a comedy side. They focus more on the serious side, ser ser serious side, and focus more on this, on the on the time traveling. Barely any fight se sequence, you know. I kind of like that. Um, anyway, so. You know, like you know, you know, Obi's or future, or was it present, current, current present? Obi said to Mobius, you know, you have to go into that time loon, otherwise your skin's gonna be, your skin is gonna be peeling, and all right, all right, you're gonna be aged to death. You know, <laughs> you know. Um, it's funny, like in, the, in one scene of the um episode, he's wearing like this um spacesuit, attacky space, not really spacesuit. You know, to protect him from that um, the temple loom, is it got a crack in it? It's got a lot. Uh, it's, I, I, I don't know. He's he's got the ta the tackiest spacesuit ever. But anyway, um, yeah, they're always they kind of teasing like Loki and Mobius are going to get killed off. Like he's got the future stick, and so that he's time slip again. This time's in the future. You know, we'll get to Loki shortly, you know. You can tell, like, you got some new character, also new characters of this, um, of this, um, second series of Loki. You got the two guys, I think they're, like, bought, bought suits and ties of the TVA. Like, you know, I think with Hunter B-15 that, um, you know, we need to protect the, ti the, the timeline instead of uh, destroying it, you know, pruning it. You know, I don't know. You, you, you can tell they're the first. I think Loki is the first um, show to explore the multi universe before the Spider Man film did it months later. Like, I don't want to get more in, in details, you know, but um, anyway, so. It got. Like, is it got off the good start, you know? But I feel like. I feel like they. They feel like they're teasing it like. It feel, it feel like this episode's more like a. A series finale instead of a series for premiere. You know, like um, Titan Series One, they treat the series premiere like a series finale. Yeah, they just wrap up the events of Series One. But anyway, I don't know who they really are. The suits and ties of, you know, I think they took over after Rensla Rens Renslayer like disappeared. Like, I'll, I'll learn more about the names uh, in the later on in the series. Yeah, they were like the wearing black uh, wearing the the Minutemen suits. I think they're going after Sylvie. You know, Sil you know, Sylvie's like the outlaw. And we got so we got Sylvie um in this episode, you know. Appeared in the you know, pushing the elevated doors and just before Loki got like you know, someone used the minute stick to bring you know, to start you know, bring him back to the, the present time. It's funny, like the minute sticks from series one. Once you know, you thought like once you get like hit by one of these sticks, you disappeared, you're gone from the existence, but you end up in the void. You know, but anyway, but it's, I don't know. Like sometimes with sequels of series, you know, you gotta have the right. You gotta focus on the new story, another uh, a new character develop, new character developments of the characters. You know, it's very hard, you know. Anyway, so, look, Sylvie, and also we got a post credit scene, like, Sylvie appeared in, was it, Broxton, Oklahoma in 1982, at a McDonald's joint. It'd be more believable he goes, I, w I wish, you know, uh, Sylvie travel, you know, I think it was 1940s? Let me check, McDonald's. It's gotta be nineteen forties, you know. I don't think it's nineteen eighty. McDonald's started. McDonald's. Um, I found it. Nineteen forty. It'd be more believable if they, you know, he, you know, she ended up going to San Bernardino, California, to the first McDonald's joint instead of going in nineteen eighty two. You know, she said, "I try all. I want to try all of them." You can tell, like Sylvie's, of uh, he saw like she saw like a black family. I think you can tell, like Sylvie. Miss her family because you know the TVA guy guys took her as a kid and make you know 
And I think she took like took the um, time traveling machine, end up growing up by herself in different timelines. Um, it's a shame for her. You, you can tell they're developing more of the new character development of Sylvie. We know, you know, you know, you thought Sylvie's the villain of series one. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But um, anyway, I think with Sylvie and Loki, they're gonna reunite. You know, I want to see Mobius on jet skis. You know, we never got that in series one. But anyway. Um, yeah, um, yeah, you thought, they, they kind of teased, you know, they, they kind of teased like Loki and Mobius are going to die, but they didn't, you know, you know, it'd be, it'd be actually stupid, you know, like, it's funny, like with, um, Sigur Invasion, you know, they killed off, um, was it Maria Hill, you killed off one of the co-stars of the show, and they killed, they killed Talos, that that's, yeah, it's plot twisting, but at the same time, it's really fucking up the show. But I'm glad they kept them together, you know, see how they get along. You can tell it's a body cut thing, you know, and there's some chemistry between uh, uh, Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, so, anyway, I don't think they like, with Loki and Sylvie in series one, they're, f it's more like a friendship. I don't see it more a, more of a relationship. It's more like a friend, it's more like a friendship, you know, do we see, do I see it? as a relationship when the episode or the season like you know goes past or later on in the, in the series who knows but um anyway um yeah so it's funny like they're going to the, t the time was it the um temple loom they appear to the, this orange door and suddenly it's turned white but um anyway so I don't want to get more details and talk about more of the plot you know I think it was a good it was a good start to kick off series two. Um you know, I can't wait for the rest of the series, you know, who's starring is, you know, are we are we gonna wrap up the fake T V A stuff? You know, I've got the plans of doing a, a third Loki series, you know. Maybe the third um Loki series is moving away from the T V A stuff and Loki has you know, maybe a new story, new villains, we don't know. Don't know. But, um, yeah, I think, I'm waiting, waiting to find out, you know, I don't know, well, they're not going to kill Kang off, you know, I think they're saving Kang for the Avengers films, you know, uh, Renslayer, I can see her getting killed off, you know, and then I think Beat Hunter, saying like, you know, she had a life outside of the TVA, you know, like in the, in the season finale of, um, of Loki, you know, she was a school teacher or school principal, like, you know, like, you know, I mean, I can see them exploring um, Renslayer's past, you know, expose her. And also with Loki said, she he has to, like, like cut her, cut him in different pieces of time. So, basically, he's going to kill off, going to erase him from history. Otherwise, I think he's kind of disappeared. Yeah, that time uh, slipping thing. He's going to be time slipping a lot in this series, you know. Like... It'd be really good. It'd be really funny, you know. See Loki traveling back in different times, you know, going to his own timeline. You know, I know we're not gonna see uh, a Thor in that one of these timelines. You know, uh, scenes. You know, we'll probably see Sif again. Um, we're not gonna see. Um, you know, probably we'll probably see, we'll probably see um, scenes you've never seen before in Loki's timeline between. Um, uh, Avengers 2012, and so he died in what? Ang, um, I'm not Ang, uh, yeah, Infinity War, but it's around that 2014, 2013, when he's um disguised himself as uh Odin, you know, you know, you know. I want to see the the form of the concept, the form, of, explore more of the time traveling stuff. We did, we see a little bit in um series one, a bit in, a bit in the past, a little bit in the future, but. You know, since Loki is a time traveling show, I want to see how how he's gonna do it. You know, I think he's gonna like cut himself or slice him in time, space and time. But it's just I don't know. I'm waiting to find out. But um, anyway, folks, um, I think I missed out something. Missed out important stuff. No, I think that's it, man. I think I covered most of it. Yeah, there's no comedy and laughter. No, barely any comedy. In this episode, like I said, it's just, yeah, like I said, they focus on the focus on the the serious stuff. You know, series one has some funny moments, but they're not going to save the funny stuff until in 
uh, other episodes of the series. So anyway, folks, I'm gonna ra- I'm gonna wrap this up, man. So yeah. So what are your thoughts on Loki, um, series two, episode one? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash that button, click the like, click the bell. Subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. I think reviewing episode two of the second series of Loki will be somewhere next. Uh, well, actually, this weekend because by time tomorrow will be the the start of the second series. You know, you have to wait to find out until the weekend. So until then, this is the Central Man officially signing out. Check you later, folks. I know it's about twenty minutes. You know, this is all about get my my thoughts on the plot. You know, if I miss out something. Um, in that first series, or first episode of the second series of Loki, like I said, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, folks. I'm out. And this is Essential Man Official Sign Out.